Greetings, true believers. Joel Pal Spider Man. Hey, Cadre, it's KJ here. Um, as you know, I'm in Las Vegas, uh, so I'm doing this shit video from my hotel room. Uh, yesterday, I had a great trip to the Sharp Shop um, on Charleston, and uh, it's a barber supply store. Uh, they got a lot of aftershaves and shaving soaps and razors, in addition to all the clippers and scissors and whatnot. Um, so I did pick up a soap. Uh, from them yesterday. Uh, I got the Edwin Jagger uh, Lime Pomegranate. Um, I had a bunch of samples uh, of Edwin Jagger creams uh, that they sent me uh, to give away at one of our meetups um, a couple years back. And the Lime Pomegranate scent is amazing. And so that's why I picked this up. So this is a, a hard puck uh, soap refill. Uh, the lime and the pomegranate just really goes well together. Um, I just love the scent. Um, <clears throat> so that, and when I saw this, that kind of made me think back to uh, one of the threads that uh, I think Chris, uh, CB Lindsay started about what types of scents would you like uh, for soap makers uh, to possibly get some inspiration from. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that got me to thinking lime and not just lime, but lime combinations. Um, you know, lime and coconut is great. Um, I've got a soap from Mystic Water, which is lime and lavender, uh, which is awesome. And this lime and pomegranate is amazing. So uh, lime combinations with other scents, um, just to see what you can get out of them. Um, and maybe, to appease uh, Don and me, do a lime sandalwood. How would that be? Um, so, uh, again, I'm traveling, so I'm using my travel brush. Um, I do have the little carrying case um, for it that is just a piece of uh, acrylic tubing and a couple of uh, like safety end caps. Um, I didn't make this, but the uh, Guy who sent me this brush, uh, Mike H from uh, B and B, um, he made that for this brush. He knotted this brush, carved out this handle out of a little uh, some sort of nut. I forget what it is right now, um, and put in a little teeny knot. So this is my uh, perfect travel razor. So I'm just. Uh, Loading this right off the puck. Love the scent. I'm just gonna add some more. So I got about an hour to get ready before we have to leave for work today. Luckily, I'm staying at the Embassy Suites, so they've got complimentary breakfast, so I just need to go down to the lobby after I'm done with the video and have some breakfast. Right. And then tomorrow morning, I'll get back on the road get home. So I just came out here to work for one day. Wish it was longer. I always like coming out to Vegas. I mean, coming here for work for years. First time I came out here for work was probably 04. So I've been coming out here at least once a year since 
since 2004. And two of my jobs, I was coming out here. This is when I was with the Air Force. Um, I was coming out here at least three or four times a year. So good. If you like lime, if you like fruity scents, definitely check out the uh, the lime pomegranate. So my travel razor of choice is a Tech Gillette Tech. I mainly choose tech just because it's small, lightweight, and it's a three piece. So it disassembles and gets stored away pretty easy. I keep mine in a little candy tin, like an Altoids tin. I tried to couple of other three-piece razors, uh, but the handles were too fat to uh, close in the container that I was using, so ended up going down to my tech. And it's just a great razor. Always get good results with it. It's mild. So it's easy. The soap is pretty good. Could be slicker. I know a lot of, uh, Commercial brands really don't get a lot of uh, press these days with all the artisans around. Um, and especially, you know, some of the newer brands we, we talk about Arco and Tavik and some of the old standbys quite a bit. Um, but I think, if I'm not mistaken, Edwin Jagger's soap line is relatively new. I'm not sure when they started making it, but I know I never heard about it back in the day, so. I think today in Vegas is supposed to be like 114 degrees. Not really looking forward to get outside in that. But luckily I'm working inside, so I won't have to deal with it too much. Again, shape quality from the lowly tech <laughs> that I probably picked this one up for two or three bucks at an antique store. 
is uh, shaving just as well as the over hundred dollar, over two hundred dollar modern razors. So you really don't have to spend any money, any extra money to get good shaves. But if you want them, get them, get some variety. I definitely enjoyed using them. The weight is definitely different, the feel is different. So if that's, if you don't like the light feel of the uh, Tex and some of the other vintage razors and you really have to have something heavier, yeah. Get them. All right. So, <clears throat> my uh, go to travel splash is uh, my Vesmerize Brute. And uh, I think this is the Brute and Skin Bracer mix with the uh, Master Jade added. So it's my like Oriental Spice kind of scent. And then I've got a little teeny uh, travel spray that I put some uh, 63 in, Pretty Provence. So that's my shave, and uh, I'll get ready and get this uploaded. Hopefully, get it uh, to you guys before I get down to breakfast. Um, and uh, yeah, if you haven't joined us yet, uh, www.theshavingcadre.com. I'm Spider, and we'll see you guys on the forums. Bye.